Good Tuesday morning. I'm Carly Boyette and I'm Natalie Taylor. This morning we are starting out with a Bay Area favorite. In fact, let's be honest, Tampa Bay just wouldn't be the it same wouldn't. without them. That's right now with seven locations across Florida. We are so happy to welcome the Columbia restaurant on our show this morning. We're super excited to be Yay. here. <laughs> well, with the enthusiasm, we do want to introduce our wonderful guest, Andrea Gonsmart Williams, who is a fifth generation of the Columbia Hi. restaurant group. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thank you for starting our day off right. I mean, just <laughs> the name alone. Oh, no, every morning is a good morning. If you've got paella involved. Yes. <laughs> so that's what you're making, paella. Because let me tell you, when we found out Columbia was coming on to, oh, we were like, oh, have them make this. Yes. Have them make yes. this. It's all of our favorites. But I haven't had the paella yet. That's a shame. It is a shame, but not anymore. <laughs> and you know, and it actually is pretty easy to make too, okay. which people don't realize that. So I already have my oil going. So what is paella? Okay, so what hasn't heard mean? of it? Okay. How do you describe so it? Paella traditionally is going to have, <laughs> sorry about that, ladies. Um, it's going to have rice uh -huh. um, and then a base of a sofrito which is going to have onions, green peppers, garlic, tomato, um, and then most importantly, what makes the rice yellow is going to be your saffron. Ah, oh. saffron, and saffron is what? Saffron is a spice. It's a song. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And what I always suggest if you're making it at home to do is to mash it up and put it in your, um, your chicken broth, so ah. that way you can really infuse the color throughout your rice, because what's a pie if it's not what yellow rice? Right, exactly. And what's the meat that you're cooking for? Because I know some people kind of have their own taste with what kind of goes in it. You can put anything in a pie. We're doing a traditional pie Valenciana, which has this starting off with the chicken and the pork. Chicken and pork. Chicken and pork. Um, but like I said, you can put only chicken in it. You could put only shrimp. You could do green beans, lima beans. Ooh. You can make yeah, you can make it a vegetarian paella. There are lots and lots of options. So once you kind of get your chicken and your pork browned a little bit, work on this just a moment more. I know. And we kind of you have a finished dish for us. We're cheating for TV. <laughs> so do. you're kind of just <laughs> giving a us a lowdown on how to do it. Yeah. Um, and now traditional paella valenciana has scallops. It has shrimp and um, calamari, which is also known as squid. It's got all of that in it in one dish? Mm-hmm. And this is actually only a paella for one. Oh, wow. <laughs> to give you an <laughs> idea. <laughs> when you order it at the Columbia, doesn't it, like you, you let tables know we are preparing this fresh. It takes a while. It takes 30 minutes to make. Um, and so it says it on our menu. Wow. Which Let's gives you more time to enjoy the 1905 salad. There you go. <laughs> so here's my, Natalie, and I'm sure this has happened with you too. Like sometimes you go, you know that there's a dish that you know and love like the 1905 salad and you don't, you're not afraid, but you don't, like why try something different when you know that you already have something you love? Well, once you try the pie, it could be your next go-to dish. I guess so. You have you too many. Have to you have chance. too many go-tos. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to add some selfish. I mean, you're just literally more. piling it all in. Loading it on. Um, so, I mean, personally, one of my favorite ones has shrimp, chorizo, green beans. But like I said, this is the extremely traditional version. And, and then we have go. The arborio rice, which you can use any kind of rice. When I cook it at home, I do long grain rice. You okay. can use short grain rice. I personally prefer the long grain rice at home. I was going to ask, given your background and in your family's history, do you enjoy cooking? Is it something you just don't even know your life without it? Because I'm assuming you grew up in the cook. kitchen. I love to cook. It is like <laughs> therapy to me. Um, literally, I was gone for the last week and I could not wait to get home and cook. Oh, so it's in your blood. It is most <laughs> definitely in my blood. Okay, so now this is a sofrito, um, which you can make this from scratch as you're making the paella. It's basically just your green pepper, mm -hmm. tomato, onion, um, and this already has the saffron in it. Hmm. All right. So um, there's different ways. You, this is kind of a, a quick cheat that you can do. If okay. you have people coming over and you want to mix it up real quick, go ahead and make your, your sofrito ahead of time. Okay, sounds good. Yep. Hey, while you're stirring that up, we have to get your thought on uh, Cuban sandwiches, which Ooh. is another one of your specialties. That's a heated subject. It is a heated <laughs> subject. What is the correct way to make a Cuban? What are we leaving off or leaving on? Okay, well, if you go to the Columbia restaurant, and I feel very strongly about this. I know you do. You have to layer it a certain way. You've got to layer it with the ham, the pork, the salami, Swiss cheese, yellow mustard on top only, and um, did I forget the pickles? You gotta have pickles. Yeah, pickles. Have the pickles. And because really the big thing is no mayo. A lot of people put mayo on no Cubans. Mayo. You say no, no. And the other big difference between like the Tampa um, Cuban and the Miami Cuban is that we put the salami. Ah. Because it truly represents the immigrants that came to Ybor City in the turn of the century. Yeah. So, okay. All so right. Generally, what you're gonna do, you're gonna cover that with foil. 
and let it cook for how long? Um, you're gonna cook it in the oven. I'm just gonna put it right here for now. Um, and then you are gonna cook it in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how your oven cooks. But of course, is it low heat at that time? I mean, how high do you need 350. it? 350. Okay, all right. Or if you find that it's cooking a little slow, you can bump it up to 425. Okay. Um, but then we have just about 30 seconds left. So let's. Is, oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Wow. So this is what the pie I cooked up looks like. And I'll serve it up. And then you usually have your garnishes of peas, pimentos, lemon, and white asparagus. This isn't for one, right? This, this is, is for, for two. two. Okay. I want to make sure you had <laughs> enough to share. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much. This Thanks to your family great. for, you know, thank expanding you and allowing more people in yes. the Bay Area. And you guys are almost, uh, you just keep, ex is there is there plans for more expansions, you think? There is always a possibility. I'm We're sure there looking. is. Well, thank you again. Thank you.